guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Ariana Byers and if this is your first time ever watching my channel, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be coming after several devils, let me tell you, because I'm going to be talking about temptation. Now, temptation is something that is super common that I face, you face, Jesus even face, but we're going to talk about that a little bit later. It's something that everybody deals with. Temptations are those small negative desires that pop up in your mind that tempt you to do something that you know is against the word of God, something that's evil, something that's bad, something that you just know you're not supposed to do. When dealing with temptation, it's important to understand that temptations come from the devil. In the Bible, the devil is known as the tempter. He is called the tempter and he sends temptation your way uh, because his intentions are to take you off of the path that God has set for you. So say, you know, when we talk about temptation, I'm just going to go ahead and throw it out there. Everybody likes to talk about being tempted sexually by sexual sins and things like that. But we have to remember that sexual sin isn't the only temptation. You can be tempted by things as small as procrastination, telling a lie, overeating, drinking, like the list goes on. So whenever I talk about temptation, don't just think about what we like to think of as the big things. So the first thing that I want to tell you guys is that whenever you are facing temptation, the first thing you need to do is identify your enemy. That temptation that you have, whether it's lust, whether it's gluttony, whatever it is, you have to understand that that is the enemy. The enemy has sent it to you to destroy you, to take you off of the path that God has for your life. I think so many times we plead with temptation and we say, well, God, I'm just going to entertain this, but you know I struggle with it, God. I know you'll forgive me. I just can't help myself. No. Whenever you choose to entertain that temptation, you have to understand that you're choosing to entertain something that is meant to destroy you. So you have to identify your enemy and say, look, I know that this temptation is not from God. I know it's from the devil and I'm choosing now to go ahead and label that as something that is not meant to prosper me, that is meant to harm me and that I am going to stay clear of it. So you have to make up your mind that you're not going to entertain that temptation because you understand that it's sent from the enemy. This so one awesome amazing example of overcoming temptation that i love to look at is jesus when he's being tempted by the devil in matthew chapter 4. so as jesus is in the wilderness he had just got off of a 40-day fast and the first temptation that the devil sends his way is with food he tells him if you're the son of man why don't you turn these stones into bread and Jesus responds with the word of God. He said, it is written that men do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. And as he's tempted two more times, he responds with, it is written, it is written. He responds with the word. And especially those temptations that you really, really struggle with, all of your temptations you should do this with, but especially the ones that you really, really struggle with, you have to make sure that you are attaching a word to your temptations. So literally, things that you struggle with, you need to write down what you struggle with on a paper. And next thing you need to do is search through the Bible. You can Google scriptures on whatever you're dealing with and you need to attach a word to your temptations. So that way, whenever you're tempted by that temptation, you can literally pull out that scripture and say it to let the devil know that I already know the truth. I already know what's written. This is what's up. This is what I'm going to follow. And not only to let the devil know, but to remind yourself of why it's important to overcome that temptation to avoid that temptation. But make sure that you are attaching a word to whatever temptation that you are having and stand on that word. And the third thing that I want to talk to you guys about is praying. Make sure that you're not dealing with your temptations on your own, but you're allowing God to help you. Because 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 says, no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. So make sure that you are praying and that you are asking God to please show you a way out to overcome your temptation and that when you are presented with that way out that you take it <laughs> because that's one thing I feel like a lot of the times when we are being tempted in certain areas we have a way out but sometimes we don't take that option. So, and another important part to remember in that scripture is that it begins by saying no 
no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. A lot of the times whenever you're dealing with certain temptations, it's easy to think that you are the only person who deals with that. But you have to remember that temptation is common and something that everybody experiences. But sadly, not everybody um, has taken the time to learn how to overcome it. And as a result, you see a lot of people whose life have turned into a result of entertaining certain temptations that they could have stopped in the beginnings. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to thumbs up. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Guys, I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.